Hello and welcome to my playthrough for Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are pretty much right here where we left off. We are at Lord British's castle. As I thought about what happened uh, over the last the last episode, I, I decided to uh, to go in a different direction this episode. I am intrigued by the bit of information that we got last episode saying that near Dungeon Hyfloth, there is a lighter-than-air device near. Now, what I think that means is that is the exit of Dungeon Hyfloth, not here. But we're going to check that out. Uh, let me show you what I've been doing. I did spend a little bit of time off camera. Uh, nothing's changed with our levels and all that. I haven't fought anything. But I have, you notice our gold is way down and our food is up. And that's because I spent money, I bought food, and I bought a bunch of reagents. It doesn't look like I bought a bunch of reagents, but if we look at our spells, I made a bunch of spells. So we've got 10 awakened spells. We've got 20 cure spells. We have 30 dispel spells. Those will be for energy force fields. Uh, we have 10 uh, energy force fields so we can create our own. I'm thinking that might be good like if we need to block something uh, to keep an enemy from getting to us as, as maybe as an emergency fallback kind of thing. So we've got 10 of those, 40 fireballs, 20 heal spells, 10 light spells, 10 open spells, 10 protection spells, 20 quickness spells, uh, 10 sleep spells, wind chain spells hasn't changed. It's not very useful in this setting. And then two exit spells, We'll only need one exit spell to get us out of a dungeon if we decide to go there. That's probably how we will exit. We will see. I want to find the exit, though, because I do know that from stuff I found and, and from this person that we've talked to, let's get out of that, that we can enter the dungeon from here. In fact, this is, as far as I know, the only entrance. Um, but we cannot exit the dungeon from here. And so the way we get there is we come up here and we go out here. Now, I, I don't believe that the lighter than air device is here. Um, I suppose I could search, but I'm expecting the lighter than air device to be like a balloon. It's going to be like the ship. It's going to be something that we are going to ride in. So I don't find, think it's something that we are going to search for and find like this. But I, I guess I will do it just to be on the safe side. So let's just kind of finish this up. It's not a very big area. I'm trying to be careful to make sure that I don't accidentally go one too far and then I get kicked out. Okay, so just for chuckles, let's talk to this guy again. I know we did a long time ago. At least I believe we did. All right, what's your name, Grim Shepherd? I am Landry. What's your job? I am here to warn thee. What are you going to warn us about? Ahead lies a perilous place. You know, now that I think about it, this is sounding very familiar to that conversation that we had in the f about the forest in Buccaneer's Den. Maybe there's an entrance to a dungeon there, which means we do probably have to go. I was thinking I'm not going to go back there because I didn't. I didn't know if if if. Oh, I should talk about the lost our lost elevation and sacrifice. I went back and found out what that was. It wasn't because we went in the woods. It was be and it wasn't because I asked about the skull. It's because we didn't fight that one sea serpent that attacked us when we were in town there. That was as soon as the first of our party uh, backed out of that battle, we lost it. I don't really understand why it would be sacrifice. Maybe it's random. I don't know. But that's where we lost it. And this is sounding very familiar. You know, to warn thee, a headlights a perilous place. Um, you know, sounding very similar. So we may have to go back there. That might be another one of our dungeons because we have, I think, Actually, we have one, two, three, four. We don't know. We've only found half of them. So we've got, there could very well be one there. We will have to uh, make, go back there and see. All right. Perilous. 
Once thou enters, they may not return whence thy came. Wilt thou still go on? Yes, we will. We are intrepid. Then thou art doomed. Yeah, this is feeling like a very, very familiar exchange here. All right. So we have to jimmy a lock. They really don't want us to get in here. And we will descend. And oh my gosh, darkness. We descend into the depths. Let's use our torch. We'll use the torch until it goes out and then we'll switch to our light spells. All right, so we see all these. And, and it's a dead end. I kind of hate to do this because I'm beginning to feel like I'm going to waste four to spell spells here, but let's see what there is. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so we can't... I'm, I'm assuming these are all blocked off. Yeah, I can't walk through them. So they're not like they're hidden doors or anything. Yeah, that was a way. So let's go down to level two. And we can't do anything here. All right, let's descend. Level three, looking very similar to two. All right, descend. Level four. It's strange that we have all these levels and we're just going down. Level five. Okay, descend. Level six. It's really riveting stuff here. Level seven. All right. Level eight. Oh, great. All right, so we came down facing east. These are poison walls, so if we run into them, we're going to get poisoned. So we have a door there. Let's see what... Actually, no. Probably ought to do these one at a time. All right. Another poison wall. Is that the same one? And another door. We're really going through our... Oh, look at there. No. Oops. Okay, I was like, am I seeing the same ladder or not? Interesting, there's a ladder here. So what are these things? I don't know if we're supposed to fight these things or not. Missed. Insects. We're not supposed to fight these guys. Because they're non-evil. Yeah, I'm checking my I'm checking my elevated stuff. So to to save our valor score, we're not supposed to fight non-insects. So I think we will just leave them be. Alright, so we're that, that took us right back here. That's what I was but look at this. Oh, that was the poison wall. Got it. Got it. So this took us here. We came through here. And then that was that was the poison wall that we were looking at. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. I guess that was the poison wall. So I guess the poison wall is like filling that whole block. All right, what am I looking at here? So there's that. 
There's a door we came through. There's another door. So we have another door there. Let's go back. Oh, geez. And we have rats and we have more insects. So we're just going to leave them be because they're non-evil. I think that's a rat. To me, it looks more like a cat, but I think it's supposed to be a rat. All right. So we got that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our only way forward at the present time. Okay, and now we are in attack mode and we have got dragons and these things we want to fight. Heavily wounded already. That's a good sign. Uh, I'm going to leave Iolo there. Katrina can come over. Still heavily wounded. You can wait. You can go up. You're going to be kind of stuck. This is not op optimal. Let's see if I can get Julia out. Now he's fleeing. There we go. There we go. Let's get Julia out. All right. heavily wounded so these don't seem uh, too uh, like he heavy hitter dragons here we aren't going to be able to get everybody a spot to to fight like Dupree there I think is pretty much SOL as far as being able to and so same with, same with Katrina he's critical and I think before Julie can get into position on him, he's going to be dead or fleeing. Still critical. He's gone. All right. Probably makes more sense to get Dupree out of the way. I'm not sure we'll need to, but get Katrina in there if we can. Oh, excuse me, that was a messed up. He should have attacked. And Katrina should have moved. Dragon killed. Okay. So now we need to move on. Now we are still basically in combat here and I'm looking to see if we have any hidden rooms. I don't see any. All right, we got to make our way out of this out of this room. I think I want me to go last. So I'm going to pat I'm going to kind of stand here be the I am just so paranoid now. Every time somebody's leaving this, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, oh gosh, don't make a mistake in that like that again, Keith. I'm just looking at my uh, little onk there to make sure I haven't screwed it up. All right. Okay, we got Nixies and we got a troll. We have Nixies. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, we can't. We can't. Uh, we can't fight them while on the brick part. 
even with a ranged weapon. Yeah, it just doesn't go anywhere. So we've got to get out here on the bridge. All right. Katrina out here if we can. Oh, that was stupid. Heavily wounded. Like I said, orcs of the sea. I was lightly wounded. Now that one's fleeing. And that one's fleeing. Good luck getting out of there. All right, that one's gone. That one's already fleeing. Still fleeing. There we go, a little XP for Katrina. All right, good job. We're down to one. Okay, good. I thought you were fleeing, but I guess not. Now he's fleeing. Okay, good. That worked out uh, pretty well. We'll just keep moving along in this dungeon. Okay, our good old friends here. Um, all right, you can go up, you can go down. Come over, you can come over. Back me up, back me up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Dispel. Because I wanna be able to get to this uh, Balron and kill him before he can make us all go sleepy sleep. Just like that. <laughs> That's why I hate these guys. Oh great, we're all asleep. Now he's fleeing. Well, he doesn't really have any place he can go. All right, he's dead. All right. Beautiful. All right, good. We're starting to wake up. Our party is here. Yeah, these demons don't seem too uh, stout without their Balrog companion. Who's sleeping? So I'm sleeping and Julia's sleeping. The 
doesn't help when we keep missing, guys. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's get the people that are awake moved over toward the exit. And then maybe we'll have to have Shamino cast some awakened spells. Once again, I'm looking for hidden stuff here, and I am not seeing it. Okay, I am awake. That's good news. So who's sleeping? Julia. Julia. All right. Let's get out of here, Julia. Oh, 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 two Balrons. Okay, so what I want to do here. Is Dupree, you're not going to do anything on this guy, and neither are you. Oh my god, really? <sighs> All right, so I'm going to get you in position. And I don't think we can attack him through that force field, no. What I was trying to do was set up... All right. Who's awake? Shamino? Shamino could cast the spell. Probably. You know, all my all my careful plotting. Cast this spell. All right. You stay put there. I was hoping they were gonna come out, but it looks like they want to hide. I'm certainly, I'm certainly not going to risk getting uh, Katrina in there. She's still really, even though we've upped her to, oh no, he's sleeping. Gosh darn it. Ah. Uh. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. Heavily wounded. It's nice that they came down in our line of fire. Critical. That's good. All right. You can't do anything. Now he's fleeing. Yes, flee toward me. That's what I like. All right. I'm going in. Dupree. Iola, you can stay there, I guess. I need all of my melee peeps that are awake. Follow me in. Well, I guess one of them. I really need only one person can get this guy at a time. Well, one of I what I'll do is I'll back up here. Did he poison him? He did not. All right, good. All right, and that's all we're going to be able to, to to get in there. He's lightly wounded. 
Still lightly wounded. Oh boy. Wow. This one's tougher than the first one was. Now we're in the heavily wounded. Uh, Joffrey's gonna need some healing soon, I think. Now he's critical. And Shamino is awake. And he misses. He's still a little groggy, apparently. And he's gone. Beautiful. All right. So. Not here. <laughs> what do you mean, not here? What are you talking about? Do I need to... Okay, so highest dexterity um, is the one that's supposed to be opening chests. I have 48, 28, 19, 25, 22, 31. So it's me anyway. That's I, I figured that. All right. I think I'm going to get these people out of here. That'll just make things a little bit easier because then I don't have to go through all these turns. Because we have to go back the way we came, I think. All right. I don't understand why get chest isn't working here. I am on a chest right now. Gizmo is on a chest. Aren't I? Oh, I only got one. I only got one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One movement and then it went to the next person. Yep, 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 yep. Which is, I, I'm hoping, my, my fear is, is that if I get all these people out of here, I don't know if these are going to be covering up an exit. So I guess I'm just going to have to... Seventy-eight gold. We should get a decent amount of gold out of this. I would hope. This is going to take a while. So what I think I will do is I will fade out of here a second. And uh, I'll bring you back when we're about done. Okay, and here we are getting on the last chest. And we've got we got almost 1400 gold. I forget how much I had going in here. It was less than 100. Okay, I was afraid maybe there was this was going to uncover another way out. It did not. So, uh we will have to go back out the way we came. Which is what I expected, given the layout of this place, but I didn't know if, if we were going to have something. All right, let's get out of here. And they respawned. Beautiful. That's what I love. Uh, uh, you tried to put me to sleep. It did not work. All right. Katrina can't do anything yet. Have I mentioned how much I hate Balrons? Have I mentioned that? All right. Let's uh, get some of these demons killed. 
Heavily wounded. Barely wounded. Oh, I hate these things so badly. Barely wounded. Heavily wounded. He's fleeing. And he's dead. All right, beautiful. So I think I got to move Julie up because they are the only people awake. And now Iolo's awake. Lightly wounded still. He isn't doing a lot of damage. he isn't doing any damage when he misses like you've done three times in a row Iolo there at least it's lightly wounded alright now we can get some smackdown on his butt <laughs> alright Katrina alright beautiful I'm awake cast dispel Katrina, your my job now is to take care of this Balron. And she misses. Heavily wounded already. That's excellent news. He's critical. Nice. All right. One demon left. Balron's gone. Oh, Joffrey. I wasn't watching his health. Oh, crap. I even said that. I even said that. He's, he's going to need a heal up. And then I just totally spaced on it. All right, uh, how's everybody else? Shamino's doing okay. All right, let's get this guy done. Oh man, that annoys the snot out of me. So Dupree is still sleeping, which means because these guys respond, when we go back out of here, those dragons will have respond. There's no other exits here, right? Uh, no other exits, all right. All right. Start the parade out, guys. It would be nice if uh, Dupree would wake up without me having to spend a awakened spell on him. I mean, I will if I have to. We'll get these guys out first and then we'll see how that goes. Okay, good. Dupree woke up. All right, so we'll have those dragons to face again. They weren't too tough, so I'm not too worried about it. I do need to keep a sharper eye on the health. That is so my bad. Oh, not the dragons yet. We got to get past these guys. All right. <laughs> the first time he died right away, this time he's fleeing. All right. I'm hopeful that, I mean, we've got enough money to resurrect him at a healer, but maybe if we come out somewhere near Lord British or we can Moongate there, we can... Um, I, I don't know for a fact that Lord British would resurrect us. I'm thinking that he probably will. 
But like I say, I do not know that for a fact. I'm a little concerned that Squishy Katrina is on the front lines, but that's just kind of how the placing went. But if we keep killing them before they can get close, it may not matter. That Nixie's fleeing already. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to bring Iolo back. Said Julia, have some fun. She hasn't been able to do much on this battle. Are these guys fleeing? I've been looking at, at the people. I haven't been looking at I can come over here. Iolo, you come over here. All right, that's one down, one to go. And I think that guy's fleeing, although he's taking pot shots as he goes. All right, beautiful. So now we should have the dragons in the next chamber. And I don't remember if there was another way out of there. I don't think there was. In which case, then we'll back and we'll we'll have to go back to the main staircase there and undo one of the other doors. Yeah, there's not another way out of here, is there? There is a block there that's a secret passage block, but I don't know that goes anywhere else. We'll have to find out. All right. Barely wounded. Uh, Katrina can go behind me. Yeah, I'm not liking where Iolo is. I guess, oh, I should have had him attack. Yeah, that that dragon at the top there, he's on that block. I think that's just like a, a block that's a hidden block. And maybe we can't even, do we miss him? He missed him. So it's like a little hidden, but I wonder if we can even attack him there. That dragon's critical. Still critical. Yeah, I don't think he can get to that one there. He's gone. All right. Oh, I did not want to do that. I need to send somebody up there. I think it's going to be Julia. Get Iolo out of the way for a minute. Okay. Move Iolo back. Heavily wounded. Oh. That was a mistake. Don't have an angle. Heavily wounded. Ah. Critical. Dead. All right, good. All right, let's get you up there, you up there, you over there, you up there. I, th I think uh, Katrina and I are gonna stay put.
this because there's limited space. I'm not certain. I need to move her. I'm not certain there'll be anything for our other two melee guys to do by the time they get up there, but we'll find out. Of course, if they keep missing, he's only barely wounded at this point. Julie misses. Iolo misses. Still barely wounded. Oh, you gotta miss. You gotta quit missing. You gotta qu miss quitting. All right. Heavily wounded. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I guess if this dragon starts fleeing, he's gonna go right into these two. He's critical. He's gone. All right. All right, Julie can't go in. Ugh, that was not what I wanted to do there. Actually, before we get out of here, get these guys out. I'm going to send Julia up to look at that space that's got a secret entrance. I don't think that that's anything that's going to lead anywhere. Yeah, because the, the walls around it aren't. So it's just like a little... Oh, wait a minute. We can go out a different way. I'm an idiot. We can go... We can go to the uh, right. Duh. So, down is where the we came from. Uh, and that would be the ladder. So we need to go, we need to go to the right. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it here and end this episode. And we will come right back here the next time and continue on with this dungeon. So thank you for joining me. And until next time, be seeing you.